Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tech Tanner. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. So, for those of you guys who don't know, I live in the United States of America in the state of California. And today is July 4th or Independence Day. Independence Day marks the day where the Declaration of Independence was officially adopted, which meant that the U.S. was saying, we do not want to be a part of Britain anymore. Now, typically on Independence Day, it is celebrated with hamburgers and fireworks and just remembering our country and being good old America. But sadly, in California, or the specific place where I live, is pretty dry and there's a lot of dry brush around and we don't get much rain or water which means that there is a significant fire hazard which leads to the banning of residential fireworks so fireworks like sparklers and firecrackers and the things that shoot sparks up in the air those are banned in the place where I live which is pretty interesting but I mean it makes sense you don't want to be catching any fields on fire but anyway I wanted to kind of get around this rule by making my own fireworks that aren't necessarily fireworks. They use a 1.3 kilojoule capacitor bank that I will show you how to make in a very, very future video. And it will use some solder. The solder is what explodes. When you put a very high burst of current across a piece of solder, it'll cause the solder to vaporize into a shower of sparks, which will look like an awesome firework. Even if you are using a capacitor bank for your fireworks display that has no fire whatsoever coming out of it, there's always a risk of the sparks from the flying solder lighting something on fire. Now, I've done this sparking thing over my carpet, and that hasn't caught fire, so that's good. But anyway, you should always have a fire extinguisher nearby, just in case. So everything that I'm doing right now is perfectly legal, which is pretty cool. Legal fireworks that aren't really fireworks, but look like fireworks, but don't have the danger of fireworks. Cool. Alright, you can hear in the background some more fireworks going off. We're gonna charge this up. 400 volts. Sometimes when it's too much power, it's too loud. So let's try it again now. That wasn't even loud. Alright, so this is the solder stick. I've got a PVC pipe with a little alligator clip electrical tape to the end and a little piece of solder that is taped down onto it on the alligator clip. So this is what I'm using. I am, so people can see. <laughs> that was there goes the kitty. That was a cool one, right? <laughs> Look at the kitty cat. The kitty's all Bugarious. <laughs> My turn. Sadie, which popcorn did you use? Oh, that thing at first when we did it, um, that was kind of loud though, but kind of now, not that bad. Oh, so you just do it like that? Yep, go ahead. Okay. Oh, is it already charged up? This is gonna yeah. be epic. Well, we can run like three runs after one charge. Wait, can I say something real fast? Uh, sure. All right, so this is the capacitor bank right here, 2,800 microfarads. It's powered by a microwave transformer and a ballast resistor and stuff. 1,000 volts, uh, 2,800 microfarads. I just like to say happy birthday, America. Celebrate with fireworks, or if you're not allowed to celebrate with fireworks, celebrate with capacitors.